Open circuit is a situation in which a closed path for electron is broken. Now, what this situation can cause in series circuit and in parallel circuit? Is this situation dangerous? Well, we are going to learn everything about open circuit in detail in this video. So if you want to make things crystal clear, then you need to watch the video. Hello and welcome back on my channel. On this channel, I post videos related to electrical engineering in easiest way. So if you are interested in learning electrical engineering in easiest way, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't done that already. As we know, an electric circuit is a closed path offered for electrons to flow. An example of circuit you can see on your screen. Now let's say there is some interruption in the closed path and because of that, the flow of electron is disturbed or let's say stopped. This situation is called as open circuit. So by definition, an open circuit is one where the continuity has been broken by an interruption in the path for electrons to flow. Open circuit is a very common situation which we do every day in our life. For example, this light. Currently it is on. To turn it off, what we need to do we need to break the flow of electrons and to do so, we need to press the switch. As you can see, the bulb is turned off. So basically what switch is doing, it is breaking the path for electrons. It is basically creating an open circuit. Similarly, this motor, currently it is running. To stop it, we need to operate the switch. And the moment we operate the switch, it will stop. Again, the switch is creating an open circuit. So open circuit is actually helping us in stopping things. Now you can say open circuit is a good thing. Well, it is of course, but in some cases, in some cases it can really get dangerous. How to know more on that? Keep watching the video. So this is the open circuit. And if you close this open part, electrons will start flowing again. And now we can call this as a closed circuit. Now many of people get confused between closed circuit and short circuit. Both the terms are different, of course. Closed circuit is a perfectly normal condition, whereas short circuit is an abnormal condition in which current gets abnormally high. We will learn in detail about short circuit in our next video. Coming back to open circuit, no current can flow through an open circuit. So as per Ohm's law, an open circuit will have infinite resistance. Now, Open circuit can happen because of multiple reasons, which includes component failure, break in conductor and manual interruption. Component failure means any of the component in the circuit becomes faulty or gets damaged. For instance, you can see three resistors connected in a circuit as shown. Now because of some reason R2 is let's say burnt out. Now the circuit is not complete because there is an open circuit. Break in conductor can happen because of multiple reason. Conductor can break because of aging or wear and tear. Conductor can break accidentally or maybe intentionally as well. There are multiple reasons for that. You just name it. Manual interruption we just saw. We can do this just by simply turning off the switch. We can also take example of circuit breaker. If we are opening the circuit breaker for maintenance purpose, we are creating an open circuit manually. Open circuit can have different impact on series circuit and on parallel circuit. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about series and parallel circuit, I have a dedicated video on that link for which you will find down in the description. And if the video is helping you, make sure you click on the like button and let me know your thoughts via comments. So let's start with the open circuit in a series circuit. Let's consider a simple series circuit as shown. We have a 10 volt supply and three resistors R1, R2 and R3. Equivalent resistance of this circuit will be R1 plus R2 plus R3 that is 5 ohms. Therefore, the total current is 2 amps. Now with this data, we can find out the voltage drop across each resistor. So voltage drop across R1 is 2 volt, R2 is 6 volt and R3 is again 2 volts. So this is the normal situation. Now let's say there is a component failure. 
R3 is damaged, which caused an open circuit. Now let's see what happens with voltage and current. First thing we can notice is that current in the whole circuit will become zero. Voltage drop across R1 and R2 is also zero. However, voltage drop across the open will be equal to the supply voltage that is 10 volt. This you can find out by applying KVL here. Consider a simple parallel circuit shown. Now let's say there is an open circuit at R3. Now what will be the current and voltage in the circuit? As this is a parallel circuit, current flowing through R1 and R2 will be normal. Voltage across this resistor will also be normal, it will not be affected. Current through R3 will be zero. Because current through R3 is zero, the total circuit current will drop. In normal situation, the total current would be 23 ampere. After the open circuit, the total current will drop to 13 ampere. Now, this is the situation in case if the open circuit takes place in any of the branch of a parallel circuit. But if the open circuit is, let's say, here right after the voltage source, then the complete circuit is down. No current will flow through any of the branch. You must be familiar with this thing. This is a fuse. Fuse is also used to create an open circuit in an abnormal condition so that the circuit or a particular equipment can be saved. So whenever an abnormal current passes through the circuit, the fuse will be blown and the continuity of current will be interrupted. And that will save the equipment and the circuit. Fuse is actually creating an open circuit here. So open circuit is good. Well, yes, it is in some cases, but not in all. Let's say we have a 11 kV system as shown. And let's assume we, are, we have used cables to transmit the power. Accidentally, the cable is broken. And now there is an open circuit in the system. Now entire voltage will be available across the brake. If the voltage is enough, an arc will get stuck in between the brake. And that can further cause significant power loss and in worst case, it can damage the complete system as well. Of course, you won't see this in low voltage, but it can happen in high voltage. So that's the reason why open circuit is not good all the time. It can get dangerous as well. You can also let me know your thoughts on this via comments. Now let's summarize this video. Open circuit is one where the continuity has been broken by an interruption in the path for electrons to flow. Open circuit can happen because of component failure, break in conductor or manual interruption. In series circuit, open circuit can cause complete loss of current. In parallel circuit, only the branch affected by open circuit will have zero current. In some cases, open circuit can cause arcs. So that's all about open circuit. More such easy for understanding videos are in pipeline. So if you don't want to miss them, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. If you like the video, do click on the like button and let me know via comments what did you like or what you did not like so that I can improve. That's all for this video guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.